I like fried chicken sandwiches, so I decided to make one. But markets flooded, so I had to kill that idea. Then I thought, buffalo wings. Again, crowded market, hard to stand out. And then it hit me. I'll combine these two into a buffalo chicken sandwich. Again, flooded market, but screw it, I'm going to make the video anyway. Okay, first thing you're going to need is the chicken. Now, obviously, for a sandwich, chicken thigh for its shape and meatiness is the better option, but I went overboard buying too many chicken breasts. I'm not made of money. Support me on Patreon. Link in the description. Oh, and yes, 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 the cutting board has a few weird marks. Uh, there's an explanation behind that. Play the clip from the previous week's episode. All right, can someone please sign up on my Patreon because... Mom took this out of the oven, put it on a plastic cutting board, and we're gonna be minus one cutting board soon. All right, explanation out of the way. Let's take care of the chicken breasts. Now, simply, we're not gonna dredge and flour the whole thing. It's gonna end up way too thick. So we're gonna fillet these. That just means cutting the thickness in half. So, lay it down. Hand on top so it doesn't move. And slice them like this. Okay, and now the chicken's ready for our marinade. Next, we're gonna marinate our chicken in buttermilk. So let's make the marinade. So let's add one cup of buttermilk. Why buttermilk? Well, it helps tenderize the chicken. How? I don't know. It tastes good, that's all that matters. So let's make it taste even gooder. All right, let's add a quarter cup of pickle juice. A glug or two of the hot sauce of your choice. All right, a teaspoon of paprika. A teaspoon of onion powder. A teaspoon of garlic powder. Half a teaspoon of Mrs. Dash. Half a teaspoon of black pepper. And a quarter teaspoon of salt. Keep in mind, there's plenty of salt in the pickle juice. Grab a whisk and mixy mixy. Oh, almost forgot. A little bit of the magic stuff, MSG. Oh, no, this is optional. No, it's not. Oh, baby, yes. Come on, people, get over your fear of MSG. This stuff is a godsend. Okay, let's take our chicken pieces and dump them in our marinade. I let them blow. Dump them gently into our marinade. All right, let's cover our bowl in plastic. And two things. One, don't buy this crap brand of plastic wrap seriously. Seriously, you saw how much I struggled trying to cut it. And second, put this in the fridge and let it marinate for a minimum of an hour, but overnight would be better. Up, 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 up. Let's not cut to a time card yet. We still need to make one more thing. We're gonna make a nice ranch dressing that'll go with our chicken. You can, of course, you can make blue cheese dressing instead. Personally, I think you belong in the worst underfunded <laughs> mental institution, but to each their own, I guess. To a bowl, let's add one cup of sour cream. One cup of buttermilk. One ounce of fresh parsley chopped. One tablespoon of chopped fresh chives and one tablespoon of chopped fresh dill. One teaspoon garlic powder. One teaspoon onion powder. And half a teaspoon of salt. And I'm a bit of a dupe this thing came with a little slider slicer thing like this. Oh, um, quick note, when you taste this, it's gonna taste a little under flavored. That's because the flavors got to know each other. So place it in the fridge for at least an hour. Okay, now we can throw it to a time card. Okay, it's been an hour and it's time to bread the chicken. Um, 
Okay, it's time to put the flour coating on our chicken. But before we do, let's take care of the actual flour. Let's season the flour up. <laughs> uh, you might sneeze, don't do it in the direction of the food. All right, our flour is seasoned. Let's mix it together, right? Nope. We're gonna toss in about a cup of cornstarch. Okay, now we can mix it. One last thing, let's drizzle in some of our buttermilk. That way we get little extra crispy bits on our chicken when we fry it. Okay, now when working with flour dredge, now when dredging meat, you're gonna use one hand for the wet. All right, place it in our flour bowl, coat it, coat it with our flour. I'm actually gonna go in for a second coating, so. Oh, and uh, the reason why we're doing this is because you wanna avoid something called Frankenstein fingers. So keep the wet wet, the dry dry, separate but equal, forget I said that. All right, when it's nice and fully coated, let's transfer it to a separate plate. Just a warning, some Frankenstein fingers will occur. Okay, now it's time to fry. Okay, I have a Dutch oven filled up with oil and I heated it up to 350 degrees. 125 degrees Celsius, if your country, in hindsight, probably should not have done business with China and or Russia. Okay, let's gently place our chicken into our fryer. Oh, don't overcrowd the pot, especially if you're doing it on a countertop instead of a stove. Stop giving me crap. It was easier to film things this way. It's looking nice and golden brown. So transfer it to a bowl, coat and toss it in buffalo sauce. Oh, uh, I should probably tell you how to make this buffalo sauce. Really simple. Just grab a cup and a half of your favorite hot sauce, add it to a pot, then toss in two and a half sticks of cold unsalted butter, milk it over medium high heat so the butter can slowly emulsify into the hot sauce. And boom, buffalo sauce. All right, spread some of our ranch onto our bun. Place the chicken on top. Top it off with some pickles. Tomato. And some lettuce. And finally, let's place the bun on top. And it's ready to dig in. Uh, no funny joke. I gotta end the episode before the chicken gets soggy. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, smash the like button. If you really like the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Friday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and support me on Patreon. Okay, this time I'm gonna get all the topics.